जय श्री कृष्ण वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ भगवद गीता डिस्कशंस दिस इज प्रोग्राम नंबर फोर्टीन एंड इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी विल बिगिन अवर डिस्कशन ऑन चैप्टर नाइन बट बिफोर वी एक्चुअली बिगिन जस्ट अ रिमाइंडर भगवद गीता डिस्कशन इज अ प्रोग्राम अ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल गीता फोरम करेबियन एंड आई ई टी वी अवर मेजर प्रेजेंटर is the advisor to the international gita forum caribbean senior pandit pandit vikram aditya maharaj who has been going through the entire chapters with us to date and sharing his perspective as we begin again i want to remind all professors what we are going to discuss today before the actual start of chapter 9 with the reminder that no one in presenting their perspectives on bhagavad gita here is claiming that is the only perspective we've had some people you know call i've had calls with people pandaji mm. saying they have a different perspective and we have no issue with that no one is saying that no one can in fact even in in 10 lifetimes fully understand bhagavad gita in totality so our effort the effort of pandit vikram aditya and all of us in this series is to kindle further interest in bhagavad gita and the philosophy of hinduism so such discussions are always welcome again as we begin if you have any questions any suggestions any particular area for uh for us to revisit or to expand on then you can contact us at 7849880 or whatsapp number or if you want to have a direct conversation one on one pandit vikram can do that with you at 6521043 this is all in our attempt for us all to understand bhagavad gita and the philosophy of hinduism bhagwan sri krishna even better pandit ji before we actually begin chapter 9 we got some questions which um, you are aware of but for our viewers i will repeat the questions mm-hmm. and then invite you to make your pronouncements and your your suggestions and inputs on it we have been dealing in some of the programs the whole idea of death and after death ceremonies has come up the soul and so and the question that was asked of pandit ji is can women perform funeral rites in hinduism and mm-hmm. if so what is the authority for saying that pandit ji can we deal with this and then proceed we we need to understand that we follow a lot of traditions and the rule of tradition is in the absence of law tradition is the law right the tradition becomes the law basically. in the absence of law tradition is the law Mm-hmm. but once you get the authority then there's no tradition again if the authority so in other words the authority will supersede traditions obviously, in your in your community or in your country wherever you are you belong to a religious organization that has a constitution mm-hmm. that constitution is not more powerful than the constitution of the land no it's not mm-hmm. the same way in every family in every district they will have the traditions that they will follow they may not necessarily follow the law they will follow the tradition but as we have seen there are homes where there are no male relatives yes mhm so what happens there that's right now what happened now, recently i heard upon it say nobody could sh- convince him or show him an authority that says women could do the rights my best advice to he go and read the book So you are suggesting that there are in fact a sort of just for for clarity there is an authority, authority on it and the authority I will tell you what the authority is mm-hmm. the authority is a book called the dharma sindhu okay and the dharma sindhu is not one person's opinion when dharma sindhu if you meet a law in dharma sindhu they give you different authorities that support that law so if for our own further edification the dharma sindhu is how old and and where does it is it do we consider it a scriptia or is it it's not uh, a scriptia an, uh, it is just a commentary the, yeah. it's just the authority on rites and rituals okay there are two versions one is called the nirnay sindhu mm-hmm. and one is called the dharma sindhu 
Okay. The Nirinai Sindhu means the oceans of authority. So they give you different authorities to support their claim. Did they pull uh, information from scriptures? Different yes, scriptures from all the different so scriptures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you have the Dharma Sindhu. Well, we all know literally what Dharma means. Mm -hmm. The ocean of righteousness. So according to the Dharma Sindhu, there is a verse that says, Mata Pitra Yadishu Mriteshu Niyame Dashame Hanimundanam Eva Mabharitari Mritostriya Apimundana Niyamaha It says in a home when either parent die. Okay. Mother or father. father. Mm -hmm. Right. It says Mata Pita and it gives a third person. Mata Pita or Acharya ke, the guru of the home. Mm -hmm. If the guru dies, Marne ke niyam se dashame din mundan kare. Ten days, you will shave. Now, isi tara pati ke marne ke stri ki bhi mundan ka niyam hai. Women are allowed to shave their head and do the rites and rituals. For whom? The parents, husband, uh, parents, uh -huh. husband, parents and husband and guru. Okay. So that is according to the Dharma Sindhu. And that to me is authority. Now I am not telling you to follow the Dharma Sindhu. Mm -hmm. Right? No, but yeah. let's just expand on this a bit. So what we are saying here, in the absence of a male heir, I presume that's what is being suggested. Mm -hmm. It is not, it's not the first recourse. No. So someone has no male issue, because normally in Trinidad, what would happen now? If somebody dies and there is no son, they will get a cousin, one of you, mm -hmm. uh, or five of them as these things go to, to, to do the rites. But what you are putting here in answering this question, can women perform funeral rites? As per the Dharma Sindhu. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. According to Goswami Tulsidas, the answer is yes. It's in the Ramayana. It's there in the Ramayana. I can't place it. Uh, right. Well, that you know. we will be with on another program. But if mm -hmm. I tell you it in the Ramayana, it is in the Ramayana. I'm not doubting you. It's yes, just no, that no, I'm no, saying I'm it from my that. knowledge base. I can't place right. the verse as we talk. Because you know? yes. I said from the beginning, from the beginning of this program, I have said, mm -hmm. all our scriptures are coded. If you don't understand the code, you're going to mess it up. That is why Tulsidas was very clear when he wrote Ati Vichitta Ragupati Charita Jana Hi Paramasujan Jemati Mandavi Mohabasa Hridaya Dara Hi Kachuan. You have to understand Tulsidas wrote this Ramayana when the Mughals were in charge of India. Yeah. So he had to be very careful of what he write. No, he wasn't very careful. He wrote what he wanted to write, but he coded it in such a way that only one who is in close connection with the Supreme will understand the codes. But it I want to ask a question. And to, okay, so Dharma Sindhu says this, right? Dharma nice Sindhu says this. Okay, no, but my question is in terms of Lokriti, as we call it, or mm -hmm. Gauriti, that we are aware of. Mm -hmm. um, in Trinidad, I'm not aware of this practice taking place of females doing rites. Well, I have good news for you if you want. I've uh, done quite a few already. You've done? Okay, fine. Quite no, no, a no, few. no, 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 no. I'm and just the, asking. And yes, the head is shaven. Mm -hmm. Nirunai, uh, Nirunai Sindhu mm -hmm. says something different. Yes, they could do the rites, but they must shave their head twice. On the day of the funeral mm -hmm. and on the day of the shaving. That is the only difference between the Dharma Sindhu authority mm -hmm. and the Nirunai Sindhu authority. You see, this is the thing, we, we, not, we don't want to add any, and I thought viewers in particular, I want to be very clear. On the program, we don't want to add any further confusion to what are some could already be confusing ideas. But what Panditji has indicated here, is, and I think it's big upon our scholars in Hinduism, in Trinidad and elsewhere, to look at this, um, because logically, if I have no son, if I'm, say, without son, and my daughter wishes to do my last rites, can she or can she not? That's where the, I believe these sorts of questions came. So Panditji, thank you very much for this response and research on this first question. The second question, the, this person asks if you can re-explain, in the case of yogis, the soul's journey. 
why some choose to return, why some choose not to return. So in relation to the soul of yogis. If you could re-explain that, there seems to be have some doubt in, in the chapter that we did with that. That means somebody watched chapter 8 to come up with that question. Mm -hmm. Now, when you become a yogi, you have certain missions, life missions that you want to accomplish. And some of the yogis accomplish that mission. The ones who accomplish their mission are the one who chooses to leave this body when the sun is in the north so they will not have to return. Right. The ones who do not accomplish their mission or fully set up, do what they set about to do, they are the ones who choose like Bhishma. Bhishma chose to go then. Like Bhishma, they choose to go when the sun is in the south so that they have the opportunity to come back again to finish their mission. And when they come back to finish their mission, the difference is they don't live very long. Take Shankaracharya, take Vivekananda. They died very, very young, but what they have accomplished in that period of time, mm -hmm. we're still talking about it. Yeah. So that is the reason. It's not that they want to come back. Their mission was not com accomplished. So to accomplish their mission, they choose to depart at the time when they will come back, finish their mission. If you remember when you go back to chapter 5, when we says, when Lord Krishna says, I send them in a home where whatever they have had acquired in the past easily reveals itself to them. So they that continue. is for the yogis yeah. who chose the southern direction. I hope that this answers your question. Excellent. So at this point, we will now begin chapter 9. I invite Panditji to begin our exploration. Raja Vidya, Raja Guhya Yoga, Shri Bhagavan Uvach. Idam tuti guhya tamam pravakshyamya anusu yavi, jnanam avijjana sahitam yajajyatva moksha se ashubhat. Lord Krishna says to Arjun, to those who do not kavil, kavil means you do not seek things out of jealousy or conceited. You must be free from these two qualities. To those people, I will declare this, Arjun, that this knowledge that I impart to you, together with the realization of the truth of this knowledge, such an individual frees himself from the evils of this world. Raja Vidya Raja Gogyam Pavitra Midamutatamam Pratyakshavagamam Dharayam Susukam Karatum Abhyayam this knowledge is a science, a secret. It purifies everything. It is very easy for the devotee to realize. And it is in accordance with Dharma. It clearly means that whatever is said here, whichever text we go to, the answer is going to be the same. He doesn't stray away from it. It is very easy to practice. And it also, it is very imperishable. Now, that sickness that exists in the mind, Kavil, Ra Ras Amrita says, Klesha tupapa matadabi jam avidya cheti te tridaha. That when you have bhakti, bhakti destroys pap, the sin. Mm -hmm. It also destroys the beej, the seed of that sin. That even though you get rid of the sin, the seed is still there, it will grow again. Mm -hmm. It gets rid of that. And then, the cause of that seed to germinate is something called avidya, ignorance. Bhakti destroys all three. So this is why Lord Krishna says, it is easy to practice and it is imperishable. Once you develop it, you will never lose it. Ashradhana purushaha Dharma yas yas parantapa aprapya mamni varatante mrityu sansara varatamani. People who have no faith in this dharma, they do not attain the supreme. And failing to attain the supreme, they continuously subject themselves to the cycle of birth and death. 
मया तटमिदम सर्वा जगद व्यक्ति ही मोरतीना मच्छतानी सर्वा भूतानी न चाहमते श्वस्तिता What is very interesting in verse four, verse five, and verse six are the only three verses in our Hindu scriptures. In the eighteen Puranas, in the eighteen Upa Puranas, what is common about those three verses, Pandaji? You tell me. I tell you. I ask you. You tell me. One word. Hmm? One word. It appears in all three verses. We have to look for it. Well, look at it and tell me. Matstani. Matstani. Yes, I'm seeing it. First verse. Yes, second verse. Mm -hmm. And it's also in the third verse, chapter four, six. five, and six. Six. Yeah. So, it's very interesting that Bhagwan Sri Krishna stresses that word in three verses. Nowhere in the Gita could you find that verse. A word. No, yes. a verse appearing consecutively in more than one verse. It does not. No word appears twice okay. in running verses. In chapter nine, this word appears three times. So there had to be something about this verse. That word. Matstani. So in verse four, Maya tatham idam sarva jagat abhyakti himurtina matstani sarva bhutani na chahamatesya vastitaha. It means that this entire universe is pervaded by me in my invisible form. All beings exist in me, but I do not abide in them. Matstani means simply. To be part of, to be in, to be in with it. He goes on to verse five to say, "Nachamatstani bhutani pashame yoga me ishwaram bhuta brinancha bhuta sto mamatma bhuta bhavana." Those beings do not reside in me, and yet they do not understand. That I am the one who supports this entire creation. They do not exist in me, and I do not exist in them. So, contrary to the common belief that we have, Pandit, where God resides here, there, and everywhere, and God is in everything, the Gita says that is not true. The Gita says, if you don't believe in God, why will God reside in you? Talk to me. I listen. Oh, you're listening. Yata ka shasti to nityam vayu saravatra go mahan tatha saravani bhutani matsthani padaraya. Just as the wind which blows exists in the atmosphere in which it blows, in the same way, all life originates from me, and in the end, they have to come back to me. Sarva bhutani kaundiya prakritim yanti mami kam. Kalapakshaya punastani, kalapagao bishijam yaham. He says, All beings, Arjun, at the end of the kalp, they go into my prakriti. And residing in my prakriti, they come back into this universe at the beginning of the new cycle. Prakritim swama vashtabya, bishijami punaha punaha, bhuta grama mi mama kritam avasham prakriti yashan. And because of my prakriti, they come back into this universe again and again. They are all helpless, Arjun, under this influence of Maya prakriti. Nachamanta nikaramani ni badananti dananjaya udasi na vadasi na masakta mateshu karmasu. But this karma which I perform, I am not bounded by this karma. Now, what karma is he talking about? If anybody looks at this verse and says, "This act that I perform, it doesn't bind me. I am not concerned. I am unattached." The act he's talking about is bringing life into the world in the form of birth and taking life in the form of death. That is the responsibility of the supreme. He is not affected by that because there is no prakriti in him, there is no maya in him, there is no illusion in him. Now. Sant Goswami Tulsidas says, "Jasu Satyate Te Maraya." 
भास सत्य इव मोह सहाया मटीरियल एनर्जी हेज नो पावर ऑनटिल इट गेट्स इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम समवे Now, if you get divine inspiration, your whole life going to be divine. If you get Maya influence, your whole life will be in Maya. But as a baby who is now born, the energy that child have is the energy good or bad. Nobody knows. But only when that becomes in contact with good or evil, then it kicks in. Another example: there's something called a chimta. You know the chimta? पढ़े दूसरा मेरा नहीं ना नहीं चिमता ही अनुरीनी में ना कोई अगेन ओल या यू गेन ओल चिमता वेट वेट चिमता इज़ द व्हाट इज़ यू इज़ आइडा एन म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट और व्हाट इज़ यूज़ टू पिक अप रोटी द ओनली म्यूजिक यू गेट फ्रॉम अ चिमता इज़ व्हेन आई बीच यू विथ वन दैट तो तोनी सारा रोटी तो तोनी रोटी है आई चिमता है बट व्हेन यू हंग अप द चिमता ऑन अ नील हाउ यूजफुल इट इज इट यूजलेस इट यूजलेस या इट इज यूजलेस सो ही सेज इन द किचन दैट इज अ यूजलेस टूल अंटिल इट्स यूज्ड यू हैव टू गेट अ शेफ हु नो हाउ टू यूज इट एंड देन इट कुड विथस्टैंड ऑल द हीट इट्स द सेम थिंग जासु असत्य मे जरमाया बास असत्य इव मोह सहाया इट इज द सेम थिंग विद दिस माया इन अस इट यूजलेस अंटिल इट कम्स इनटू कांटेक्ट विद द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड or the spiritual world then it could become very uplifting or very deadly whichever way you want to look at it and anyhow you look at it it could either be very useful to you mm -hmm. or it could be useless but in the hands of the right person this is why last week you spoke about the guru hinduism talks about a competent guru having a guru for name sake those If I in problem and I pick up my telephone to call my guru and I can't find my guru telephone number, and my guru turn around and tell me, "Well, I don't give nobody my number. Mm -hmm. I really don't need you for a guru. You know, sorry, I really don't need you. Because how am I going to contact you when I need you the most? You can't help me." He says, "Avajananti ma mora manushim tanu ma shetam." Param Bhavam Majanando Mama Bhuta Maheshwaram. Now this is a very interesting verse because if you ask any Hindu, Pandit, if you close your book and mm -hmm. any Hindu asks you, Pandit, who is Mahesh? What are you going to tell them? Mahesh. Mm -hmm. I think of Mahesh as Shiva Bhagwan. Right. So Maheshwaram is who? Who? Lord Shiva. Maheshwar. Maheshwar is Lord Shiva. Now mm -hmm. we'll go back. Maheshwar to is, the, is the Lord of the universe, so it could the, the, the meaning of, of of Maheshwar. I didn't ask you the meaning. Mm -hmm. What I said, as a pundit, uh -huh. if the term Mahesh come across you, I would think of Lord Shiva. Simple. Yeah. So Maheshwar, the Lord of the universe, is who? Shiva. Shiva. Right. Instead. That is the question I ask. So how come? And I will now revert back to something I said. In December, when we had the Gita Forum, mm -hmm. I will now revert back to something I said in the very first program that we did here on Bhagavad Gita, that there are 745 verses in the Gita, and nobody could challenge that. Once you could do maths, 620 verses were chanted by Lord Krishna, 57 verses were chanted by Sanjaya, 67 verses were chanted by Arjun, and one verse was chanted by Dhritarashtra. And anyhow you add up that, you're going to get 745. How come the Gita only have 700? 700 and verse. One verse is not checked. Yeah. Right. So this is the explanation now. I'm not telling you I correct. I am dead accurate when I tell you it's 745 verse. That I could put my head on a chopping block for. Somewhere along the road, somebody decided to double with this Gita. and for some strange reasons 45 verses were eliminated from it and i could tell you with great authority those 45 verses have been found now they take out verses from all through the gita not one chapter but when you go to chapter 10 and 
and you read chapter 10 of the Gita, the 45 verses that were missing from the entire Gita, all are mentioned in chapter 10. In that 42 verses, all are mentioned. So what they tried to hide or take out was represented in chapter 10, and they couldn't touch it again. But it is universally accepted, 700 verses. So we're sticking with the one with 700 verses. He says, Awajananti ma modha. Modha means a fool, a foolish person who looks at the form of Sri Krishna and says, the same thing Khan said, the same thing Ravan said, Ram is a little boy in the forest, what he could do me? Khan said the same thing. Krishna is just a human, he cannot do me anything. Mm -hmm. Fools see him like that and not recognizing him as the master of the universe. Yeah. Such people, their hopes are vain, their actions are vain, their knowledge is vain. They have no ability to discriminate, to tell right from wrong. And they are the ones accepting the delusive nature of the rakshas and the demons. They become like that. We live in a society today that, I mean, you sleeping in the privacy of your home and somebody just walk in your house in the middle of the night right. with a gun. Yeah. And if that ain't frightening to you, I don't know what could frighten you. You cannot even sleep in your own house. Because God forbid, God forbid if you take a sleeping tablet, you know. If you take a sleeping tablet and then fellas, what are they calling it now? Home invasion. Mm -hmm. And a home invasion takes place by you when you're under the influence of a sleeping tablet. You're going to die. You're going to get killed in your sleep. So you cannot sleep. Nor could you use something to help you sleep. Because of that fear. That is what the Rakshas does to you. He instills fear in you. And when he instills fear in you, you do not have the ability to discriminate, to tell right from wrong. Mm. That's a frightening thing that could happen to you. Mahatma nastumam part, devim apakriti mahashritaha, bhajanta nanya manaso gyata bhuta adim abhyayam. Now there are those devotees who are being blessed. And they partake of this divine nature. They worship me with firm devotion, knowing me as the source of all beings. Satatam kereta yanta mama yatanta shta dridabata namas yanta shta mambatya nitya yakta upasati. Now, nobody could wake up in the morning and become a bhakta. You have to start at one point. What is the point? You start glorifying God. You keep striving towards God. You hear about Ekadasi Brat, you're fasting on Ekadasi. You hear about Trayodasi, you want to fast on Trayodasi. You hear about the Ashtami for the Devi, you want to fast on the Ashtami for the Devi. So all these things, bowing before the Lord, they worship me steadfastly with Bhakti. That is an important point. You with repeated bhakti, practice. Repeated. This is not going to happen once and you ball. I have always said this and I say this with great authority. I have done almost 2,000 funerals in this country. Mm -hmm. I have been to the home of maybe 1,200 people actually at the time of death. Mm -hmm. And when I finish, they close their eye. So it's not my Gita part that kill them. They mm -hmm. time up. And I've never heard one person say, Bajagovindam, Bajagovindam, in their life, in my lifetime yet. You cannot chant the name of God once by vaps. That is storybook thing you practice. Yeah. Yes, that is storybook you selling people. I was recently watching a program mm -hmm. and they were talking about Ashtang Yoga. Let's hold this idea. We will need to return as we need to take a break at this time. Sure. And we will develop this concept further right after this break. Do stay with us.
Jai Shri Krishna. Welcome back to Bhagavad Gita discussions. As Pandiji was on a very important point at this time. Pandiji. Yes, I was watching a program that talking about Ashtanga Yoga. Mm -hmm. Now that is something that interests me. So I put up the volume and I watched three pundits on television talking about Ashtanga Yoga. And the first thing they talk about is Yama and Niyama. Mm -hmm. I switch off the TV. Because there is no yoga called Yama. Yama is God of death. Mm -hmm. One is Yam, one and is Niyam. Niyam. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know the difference between Yam and Yama, I think you are an authority on the Gita. Or an, for not Gita, you are not an authority on yoga. I switch the station. Don't get this thing wrong. And the only way to get it right is constant practice. Yeah. Yagyena chapyante yajanto mahamupasati ekatvena pitakatvena bahuda vishvato mukam Now, the beauty about Sanatan Dharma is there are many ways to worship God. Some worship God through Yajna. Mm -hmm. Some worship God through many ways. Some worship the individual form. Hanuman, Krishna, Ram, they are all individual forms. Lakshmi, Saraswati, Durga, all individual form. And then there is the one in chapter 11 of the Gita, Vishwatomukam, the universal form. Okay. Aham Gaturaham Yajya, Swadaham Maham Aushadam, Mandroham Hame Vajam, Mahama Agani Raham Hutam. Now, when we sit to do puja, or we sit to do yajna, we prepare the fire and we do certain offerings around the fire and then we light that fire. When we light that fire, that is Kratu. Then Yajna, I am the Yajna that you perform. Swadha, Swadha is the offering that is given to ancestors. I am the medicinal herb. I am the mantra that you chant. I am the ghee which you offer into the fire. I am the fire itself. And I am the very thought of the ghee that I offer. Now, why would I say I am the ghee and I am the thought of the ghee? And now I understand that. 40 years ago, I didn't understand it. Because now, most people use ghee from the pan. Most people use mm -hmm. pan ghee. It's ghee, so we offer that. But I am the thought of the ghee. I am offering this pan ghee. And I am saying, boy, I wish my grandmother was alive. If she was alive, we would have cow. And if we had cow, she would have made homemade ghee. And that is the one I would have offered. The real one to offer the homemade one. But in absence of that, do we not offer? Yes, we offer the one from the tin. Pitamahasya jagato matadhata pitamaha vejam pavita omkara hiksama yajudevacha I am worshipped as the father of the universe. This is why this mantra is prevalent in many scriptures Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva I'm sorry Pondit I don't know why we we cannot get that mantra correct 99% of us say it wrong we just say Twameva Bandhu Chasaka Twameva no way that is written in the mantra Twameva Bandhu Chasaka Twameva that is something totally different that is something totally different I am the mother of the universe I am the dispenser I am the grandfather, I am the knowable, the purifier. I am, you forget the mantra because you're saying it wrong all the time. Say the monosyllable mantra. Om. And in that one you might say wrong too. I am the Vedas. The Rig Ved, Sam Ved, Yachur Ved. Gatera Bharata Prabhu Sakshi, Nivasa Shara Namasurit, Prabha Pralaya Stanam, Nidhanam Bejam Abhyayam. I am the goal, the supporter, the Lord, I am the Sakshi. This is the controversial part. Sakshi means the witness. A witness could witness the crime, but he can't interfere. You mean God don't feel sorry for we insult with the flood by? Every year we get flood in the same place? God cannot interfere. God never tell you full the lagoon. God never tell you throw rubbish in the river. We are guilty. I'm not blaming that for the problem. but. We are part of the problem. If we don't clean our place and clean our surroundings, when this happened, you could sit down in your house and cry and bawl. You know that Abhajan we used to sing, Jab Papa ki gatari, Shesha pakar kyo, 
शीशम में हाथ क्यों रोवत है द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल भजन सॉन्ग बाय महात्मा गांधी जाग मुसाफिर दैट द टाइम विल कम एंड वी विल सिट एंड होल्ड वी हेयर एंड बॉल एंड नोबडी वुड बी एबल टू हेल्प सो ही सेज शांति आई एम द ओरिजिनल आई एम द ओरिजिन द डिसोल्यूशन द ट्रेजर हाउस एंड दैट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द इम्पेरिशेबल सीड अर्जुन सोमूत पाप यज्ञरिष्ट स्वर्गति प्रार्थयंति ते पुण्यामवशाज सुनिंद लोकम अश्नंति दिव्यां दिवि देव भोगाम दोस व दी नोवर्स ऑफ दी स्क्रिप्चर्स दी वेदर्स दोस हु पार्टेक ऑफ दी सोमा नेक्टर हु हैव बिकम प्यूरिफाइड फ्रॉम देयर सिन्स वर्शिपिंग मी थ्रू यज्ञ वर्शिपिंग मी बिकॉज़ ऑफ डिजायर्स एग्जिस्टिंग विद इन देम व्हेन दे डिपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड यू सी This is why I say Hinduism is different. The word heaven doesn't appear in Hinduism. What it says, Surendra Lok, the abode of the Devuta. You will journey to the abode of the Devuta, and you will enjoy all the good that you have done. Te tama bhakta swadga loka ma bishalam kshe na ponya marita loka ma bishanti. Evam tai dharma anu prapana na gata gatam kama kama la bande. and having enjoyed all the good that you have done you come back into the cycle of birth and death go back to the second question the person asked <coughs> why would somebody want to come back in this world because their mission was not accomplished so they come back into the cycle of birth and death arjun and coming back into the cycle of birth and death until they are able to understand that you have to free yourself from desires समथिंग एल्स I will provide your needs. Ye pa yanta devta bhakta ya jante shada ya vandi ta ha te ya pima me va kaunte ya ya jandya vidi purva kam. Even those devotees who are blessed with faith and they worship God in different forms, they worship me alone, Arjun. It's just they don't know that they believe that one is different. If I want to get strong like a lion, I go worship Hanuman. If I want knowledge, I go worship Ganesh. So if I worship one God, I won't get all that. You know, the, because of the Maya, we think that there is a different God for different reasons. And what Lord Krishna says, "Ahami sarva yagyana bhokta cha prabhu deva cha na tu mama bhijan anti takwe nashta vanti te." I am the one who enjoys the fruit of all yagya, regardless of the yagya that you perform. The last thing that you chant is the name of Shri Krishna. Regardless of the puja that you perform, whatever offerings are made on that deity, we are doing Saraswati puja. But yet the offering we say Krishna Arpanam, and there is a reason why we use Krishna Arpanam. Later on in the chapter we will find it. Yanti Deva Brata Devan Pitri Yanti Pitri Brata Bhutani Yanti Bhuteja Yanti Madhya Jino Pimam. <coughs> Sorry, those who worship the devotees will become one with the devotee. Those who worship the ancestors will become one with the ancestor. Those who worship evil will become evil, and those who worship me will come to me. Patram pushpam palam to yam yo me bhakti prayachiti tadaham bhakto pa gritna ashnami prayatmana. He who offers a leaf, a flower, a fruit, a drop of water, that offering which is made with sincerity, with love, devotion. 
it is that offering that I shall partake of. Now, there is a beautiful chant. It could be a bhajan, but it's a chant. Achyutam keshavam krishna damodaram. Mm -hmm. There's a line in that. Kaun kehte hai bhagavan khate nahi Bela shabdi ki jai se khilate nahi Who says God do it? Have you ever offered God food the way Shibari offered him food? Beautiful. Shibari will taste that dung, the dungs, and then offer it to the Lord. You've been to India, you know how kasa dungs is. And Ram said, man, this is the sweetest dungs I've ever eaten in my life. And Lashman tapping him on the back and said, Lord, you're trip. You're losing it. He wasn't eating the dungs. Why don't you understand? That the Lord was eating the love and the devotion that Shivari was offering to him. Not the fruit. And there's a reason why the Gita says, offer a leaf, a flower, a fruit, a drop of water. Take the leaf. A leaf is a very pure thing. A flower is nature's purity. Drop of water, nature's purity. Fruit, nature's purity. Don't get caught up in this apple and grapes. Don't. Apple and grapes is not pure. If you know all the things that has come in the container with the apple and grape, you think they bring in apple and grapes and they say, well, this one is for puja, so we can put it in a spray. It don't work so. So use the things that you have, the fruits that you have. There are seasons for everything. Lord Krishna says, whatever you do, whatever you eat, Whatever you offer in yajna, whatever you offer as gift, whatever you offer as penance, offer it first to me. This is why we say Krishna Arpanam. Mm -hmm. When Kabir Das, Kabir Das must have read the Gita. Because when he read the Gita, he put a verse together. Jaha jaha chalu karu parikrama, jo jo karu so seva, jab so ve karu dandavat, Janu Deva Naduja. He says, wherever I walk, Kabirda says, I feel that I am succumbulating the mandir. Anywhere I go, I succumbulate the mandir. Whatever I do, I see it as service to God. When I go to sleep, I meditate upon that Supreme Lord. That whatever I do, I offer it as a sacrifice to that Supreme Lord. And for that reason, he says, I am always united with God. There is another great yogi in our time, Kripalu. Kripalu says, Satya ahimsa adi mana binahari bhajana napai. Jalate grahate nikale nahi koti na kariya upai. No matter how much we try. You ever get a new quarter? You're going to do a yag. Mm -hmm. Special yag. You invite all the big people in the world that you know and all of them come. You look for the prettiest clothes you have to put on. Man, your silk shining on TV. Kripalu says, Satya Ahingsa Adimana Binahari Bhajana Napai. Jalate Grahate Nikali Nahi Kote Nakariya Upai. No matter how much you try, oil go fall on your kurta. Yeah. You know why it go fall? Because I come in to do art and I want to impress the audience. I want to swing my tariya. And I don't know why when people doing yagya, devotees learn one day. Put four drop of oil in the beer and light the wick. It will last 62 minutes. Four drop of oil will last 62 minutes. The RT does only take four minutes. But you want to fold the beer to the brim. And when that oil falls on the cloth, water can wash it out. Mm -hmm. Not water alone. You have to find different things to use to wash it out. Similarly, truth, non-violence, and virtuous qualities cannot be achieved without bhakti. That is Kabir Das. Kabir or um, Kripalu? Kripalu Maharaj. Shubha Shubha Palai Deva Moksha Se Karma Vandane Sanyasa Yoga Yaktatma Vimukto Maam Paisha Se And by offering it first, by using Krishna Arpanam, you free yourself from that karma which brings good and bad results. 
and freeing yourself from that karma, only then you will become liberated. Only then you shall come to me. Samoham sarva bhuteshu namidveshtosti napriya jebhajanti tumam bhatya maitateshu chapyaham I am the same to all. There is none that I love and there is none that I hate. But those who worship me with true devotion, they are in me and I am in them. I reveal myself to such devotees. Apicheche durachado bhajate mamananya bhag sadure vasamantabhya samyaga visito hisaha even if a person has committed great wrongs in this world you want to call it sins even if a person has committed great sins in this world having realized for himself all the wrong he has done how am i going to get out of this i'll give you a little katha from the valmiki ramayana that valmiki was a criminal and one day he confronted the rishis in the mm -hmm. forest and they talk to him and tell him, listen, why are you doing this? If you have a wife and children to feed and a happy parents to feed, so how to commit a crime to feed them? And the Rishi said to him, when the time comes for you to pay for all this crime, the same people you have in the house who you're feeding, wife, mother, father, children, you think them will help you pay for it? He said, yes. He said, go home and ask them and come back. And he tied them up to a tree and he went home and asked them. And the wife said, listen, I am not paying for your sin. You commit the crime. Mm -hmm. If you didn't want to feed me, you shouldn't have married. If you didn't want so much expense, you shouldn't have children. So you commit the crime, you pay for it. And from that is the moment that Valmiki realized all the wrong he has done, time to change. The Gita says, when the time comes to change, with firm devotion, with righteousness, he begins to worship me. Chepram Bhavati Dharamatma Shashwana Chanti Nigachati Kaunteya Pratijani He Nami Bhakta Hapanashyati And over a period of time He will secure inner peace Know it for certain Arjun Without a doubt My devotees never perish Nobody cannot do this for you You have to do it for yourself Mami Padya Pashritya Yeya Pishu Papa Yona Yaha Striya Vaisha Stata Shudra Steya Piyan Panamgatim For those who seek refuge in me, Arjun, regardless of your birth, regardless of who you are, everyone has that birthright to attain the Supreme. Everybody going to do it differently, everybody going to do it at a different time, but the end product is going to be the same for everybody. He's available to all. All, everyone, no discrimination. Kim punara brahmana punya bhakta raja rakaya stata anitya masukama loka mimam prapa bajaswamam. How more, how much more, Arjun? Those great scholars, those great saints who have took ordinary people like Valmiki and make him such a great soul. Why wouldn't I love a person who could do that? So I have a special love in my heart for those people who take ordinary people and turn them into bhakta. You know, when you go lay down in the Gita, somebody told me one day they read in the Gita, was very critical. With, as a matter of fact, he was very critical of my reading of the Gita. And his reason was, I am wasting time reading the Gita because you don't read Gita to any and anybody. It's like throwing pearls to swine. Mm. I say, well, maybe I see people like swine. And they're trying to get them pearls. I say, but why would the Gita itself say? Those who read the Gita, those who teach people the Gita, Do they are very service. dear to me. Yeah. So see, I don't understand your concept. You see, what is Chapter dangerous? 18, yeah. Let me tell you what is dangerous in Sanatana Dharma. You cannot be selectively wise. There is no selective wise. You learn one verse and you're wise on that verse. But there are 699 verses around that. Selective wisdom. There's nothing called selective wisdom. It's either you know or you don't know. Lord Krishna gives Arjuna an advice. Man mana bhava madha bhakto. Madhyagi maam namaskuru. Maam avaishati yukve nam atmanam. Mat parayanaha. Fix your mind upon me. Be devoted to me. 
make self sacrifices unto me. And let me tell you what is meant by making sacrifices unto me. The mandir has puja going on. Whatever, some people have Sunday morning, some people have Thursday night satsang, whatever they have going on, carry something when you go. Don't go with your hands swinging. Carry a flower self or carry a little Hannah right fig. You, you understand? Yeah. That is making sacrifices. Contribute. Sacri yeah. Contribute towards it. That is making sacrifices. Bow your head when you come to the mandir. Bow your head before me. Make yourself firm in what you heard in the, in the kata. That yes, I want to be like that. I want to be like that. I want to reach the supreme goal that Tulsi Das reached. I want to reach the goal that Hanuman reached. I want to reach the level which Shibari reached. Saying that and not practicing it, not going to help you. And when you practice it, Arjun, in the end, you shall come to me. It is Shirmar, Bhagavad Gita Su, Upanishad Su, Brahma Vidyayam Yoga Chastri. Shri Krishna Arjuna Samvade Raja Vidya Raj Gukhya Yognam Navamo Adhyaya Thus in the Upanishad sung by the Lord the science of Brahm, the scripture of Yoga the dialogue between Sri Krishna and Arjun ends the ninth chapter entitled The Yoga of Sovereign Science and the Sovereign Secret Om Shri Krishna Sharanam Mama As we come to the end of this program we want to remind you that if you have any questions, any areas you would like Pandiji to expand upon, then you can WhatsApp at 7849880, or you can contact Pandit Vikram Aditya Maharaj at 6521043. This program again is an offering from the Gita discussions from the International Gita Forum in our bid to assist in study further study of Bhagavad Gita and improvement in our lives. To all our sponsors who have sponsored before, who are now sponsoring, and to those of you who believe that this program is worthy of sponsorship, we thank you and we look forward to you developing your love for Sri Krishna. The whole point, Pandaji, is our self-development. As we conclude today, Pandaji, anything you wish to end as we conclude to say? Well, we are trying our best. And we have an outreach program going on with the Bhagavad Gita for school children. Right, yes. It is The response is tremendous. Additionally, if you want a copy of a Bhagavad Gita, remember that we are providing Bhagavad Gita at no cost. You would have to pick it up, obviously, but we can make copies of Bhagavad Gita available for those who may need it. So until next week, Jai Sri Krishna, and may His blessings be with us all. Mm -hmm.